hi guys welcome to another tutorial my name is agnes in case you're new to the channel so today i'll be showing you how i made this striped drape cardigan i love black and white so definitely i had to make stripes black and white but you can make it in a one color in any colors that you wish so all you need is your shoulder to shoulder measurements and you'll be able to make this pattern it's very easy so before we get into the video if you haven't subscribed please do so and yeah now let's get into it okay for today's video you'll need a tape measure that's to take your shoulder to shoulder measurements you will need a hook i'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and uh, i'm going to be using scissors also for the yarn i'm using acrylic yarn this is four ply it's thin yarn okay so i'll be doubling the strand so i'll be using two strands each so one is robin the white one is robin and the other black one is the brand butterfly okay so this is get your tools and we will start okay what you need to know about this cardigan is we are going to work from side to side so our foundation chain will be that long that's our foundation chain and then we'll work one panel which is the, um, your shoulder measurements then we put the sleeve hole then work at another same panel they are all equal and then put another sleeve hole and then work the last panel so we are working from one side to the other side putting arm holes in between all the panels are the same all right so to begin we are going to make a foundation chain and this will be the length of your cardigan so make a slip knot and you are going to make chains so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through that's how make a chain you are going to make enough chains as long as you want your cardigan to be uh, mine is right uh, from the back it is right above uh no it's right sits on my lower lower waist so you can make it longer all right so i'm done with my chain okay and let's see how long this is i wanted it to be 25 inches long so my chain is 25 inches long you're going to chain three and then skip three chains and in the fourth chain make a double crochet so you have three loops on the hook you have over pull through and then pull through all so go into the second chain and make a double crochet okay so that's how we make a double crochet yarn over go into the next chain and make a double crochet so you are going to work double crochets for this first row make a double crochet in every stitch in every chain and i will see you once you are at the end of the row So I'm at the end of the row and we're now going to row two. So I'll chain three, turn your work, yarn over, and in that very first stitch, okay, right there, you're going to insert a double crochet. So we are working with double crochets. Going to the next stitch and make a double crochet. going to the next stitch and also make a double crochet and you're going to work double crochets in every stitch for row two until you get to the end of the row and I will meet you once you are there
so yes i'm done with this row and my last stitch will go in right there on top of the chain three and on top of that very last double crochet that's where you put your last stitch yeah so you're going to chain three turn your work and work double crochets like we did in the second row so it's double crochet in every stitch and i will meet you uh, once you are done with this row so that we can put a change of color but if you're working one 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 color then go ahead continue doing this until you get to your measure uh, shoulder to shoulder measurements mine is 14 inches okay so if you're changing color i will see you at the end of this row i'm at the end of the third row and i'll put in my last stitch so instead of completing this uh, double crochet we're just going to leave it at that at, with two loops and then get the other color okay then pull through with the new color pull through the two loops with a new color okay then i'll chain three and then to we'll come back and tighten this off so that uh yeah it is it is safe doesn't get out so tighten it about three times you can cut off the previous color So you're going to turn your work and put a double crochet in that very first stitch and we are now going to work the little detail it is the x stitch but if you don't want the x stitch you can always go with double crochets it also looks really pretty so for the x stitch you're going to skip that first chain i mean stitch and go into the next stitch make a double crochet then yarn over and we are going to make a double crochet in the stitch we skip so go backwards and make a double crochet and that's how you make an x okay so yarn over skip the next stitch and go right into the stitch after that and make a double crochet yarn over then go backwards to the stitch you skipped and make a double crochet to complete the x okay so go into the next skip the next stitch and go into the one right after that go backwards and make a double crochet and you are going to repeat this pattern until you get to the end of this row so i'll meet you once you are uh, at the end of the row okay so i'm at the end of the row and i have two stitches left so Normally you have to begin with a double crochet and end with a double crochet. So now that I only have two, I will simply put two double crochets in these two stitches instead of ending my row with the next stitch. Okay. So it's that. And then you're going to chain three, turn your work and uh, put two double crochets on top of these first two double crochets. In case you had an even number of, of, of chains, it will definitely be one at the end. Okay, so where there is the next stitch, skip that very next uh, stitch and go into the next. Make an X stitch on top of an X stitch. Okay, so go right next, make an X stitch on top of the previous X stitch. So you are going to continue working this uh, pattern until you get to the end of this row once you get to the end of the row uh, chain three then turn your work do a, a, a double crochet and work the x stitch again so i'm working three rows for every color so you're going to repeat this same pattern three rows every color until you get to your shoulder to shoulder measurements mine was 14 inches so once i have 14 inches then i will stop and get back to you to show you how to put on the the sleeve hole and yeah, I'll see you once you have the first part. All right, guys, so I have my part ready and this is uh, 14 inches. So this is a total of nine um, 
nine what what the stripes <laughs> okay so this is 14 inches like what i wanted so yeah so we are going now to work on the armhole or armhole okay so <laughs> i'll join the other color chain three All right, so we are going to work on this other part. So put in a double crochet in that very first stitch. Okay, and we are going to do the X stitch. So go ahead and do the X stitch. And for this X stitches, I'm going to do 15 of them. So I'll, that means right before the armhole, I'll have 15 X stitches and one double crochet. That is a total of uh, 31 stitches, okay? So it's 31 stitches before I put my armhole. So go ahead and do that. This will be the neckline, so you can choose it to be shorter or longer. Mine is long. So if you want it shorter, then you will chain, uh, you will leave fewer chains than 31 in between, okay? Right before the armhole. All right, so I'm done with my 31 uh, stitches okay so we are now going to make a chain that will be you know our armhole and i'm going to chain 26 chains 26 chains this is, this is if your size small this is about 7.5 inches uh, long so if you're big if you're making a bigger size maybe a medium or a large you can add one inch to every size okay 7.5 so if you're medium you can add an inch it becomes 8.5 so you'll count uh, those stitches 26 stitches right you chain 26 then count 26 and in your 27th stitch that is where you are going to make your x stitch sorry 28th because it's 26 and then you skip one going to the 28th right and then make a double crochet then go backwards into the 27th and make an x stitch so we have left 26 stitches in between so go ahead and make x stitches in the rest of the stitches okay so that will be our armhole that's how big it will be and this is about 7.5 inches long okay so you adjust by an inch if you're making bigger sizes so go ahead and do the x stitch and i'll meet you once you are back go up to down there then turn come up back upwards and i'll meet you once you are here at the armhole so yeah i'm back at the armhole and we are going to continue with the same pattern so skip that very first chain and go into the second chain and make a double crochet so you're going to go back into the chain you skipped to make a cross stitch yeah so skip one chain and go into the next and make a double crochet Then go backwards to the one you skipped and complete that uh, X stitch. So you are basically going to do this until you get to the end of the chain. Once you're at the end of the chain, continue upwards with your X stitches. Then, yeah, and un until you have the same uh, rows as you had before the we put the armhole right and then we'll come that will be for the back part and then you'll come and we put the other armhole okay so these two panels are going to be the same when you come back we put the third panel all right so i'm done with my panels and this is um uh, already left my 31 stitches there and put a stitch marker and also counted 26 in the 27th i put a stitch marker just so i'm sure where to end okay so now i'm going to my third panel 
and I'm going to change colors. So go ahead and also mark where you need to put your armhole, same size as what you did on the other end. And yeah, so let's do this. So I have the same rows, I mean um, stripes, which were nine. Uh, on the first panel, I also had nine stripes. So this other side, I'm also going to make nine stripes. Okay. So I'm going to chain three. Turn your work and insert a double crochet in that very first stitch. double crochet in the next stitch and we are going to work double crochets until you are on the stitch that is right next to your where you put your stitch marker I'll meet you there all right so we are here uh, this is our last stitch so we are going to chain 26 because we have 26 stitches in between okay so chain 26 And we are going to work a double crochet so remove that stitch marker and in that very same stitch where you had your stitch marker you are going to work a double crochet okay and you're going to work double crochets in every other stitch until you get to the end so once you get to the end, it is the same pattern. You turn back and work uh, double crochets in every stage. And uh, yeah, and once you get here, work in every chain, go up and continue like you did until you have the same nine stripes like before or same equivalent parts. And I'll meet you once you are done so that we can put the sleeves once you have all the three panels, okay? Uh, so I'm done with my three panels. This is how they look like. Uh, I already put a sleeve on one side, but I'm going to show you how I did that. As for the sleeve, I didn't use the X stitch. I just used uh, double crochet and this is how it looks like. I actually love it. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you how I did this um, uh, sleeve on this other side. So yeah get your yarn ready i'm going to use black first so yeah let's do this all right so you're going to reattach your yarn uh, i'm going to attach mine under the arm okay so in the middle of that uh, row i will reattach my yarn and then chain three And then set a double crochet. I'll go on top of that row in that space and make a double crochet. And I will do this for every stitch. I'll go into every stitch and make a double crochet. So do the same, go around. Once you get down there in that row, put a stitch and then go into the next and you are going to get to the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and we are going to close this off by putting a slip stitch on top of that very first double crochet. Then chain three. And for every second row of black will be uh, decreasing. So put a double crochet and we are now going to make a decrease. So you are going into these two stitches as well, we'll make a decrease, go in with your hook, come out through the other side and make a double crochet. 
okay so you go in with a hook come out on the other side and complete a double crochet so we've uh, joined two together so go into the next and make a double crochet okay and you are going to put double crochets in every stitch and once you get to the end once you're remaining with three three <laughs> three stitches then we'll make another decrease i'll see you once you're there okay so i'm coming to the end i have three stitches left so we are going to make another decrease at the end so insert your hook go in through the next stitch and then make a double crochet so we made a decrease and then go into our last stitch and make your final double crochet okay so you'll close this off with a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet so we are going uh, this was row one and this is row two four we're going to go to row three so you will make five rows from your previous decrease and once you're done with five rows the sixth sixth row you'll be making a two decreases at the beginning of the row and the end of the row every sixth row you'll make a decrease so this is one you'll do uh, four more and in your sixth row you'll make a decrease then do five again sixth row make a decrease that's at the beginning and at the end of the row and i will see you once you are done i did a total of 18 inches that's how long my sleeve is then we'll come do the ribbing okay all right see you okay so i am done and uh, this is how it looks like so this is my sleeve and i have a total of 18 inches for this sleeve so we are now going to work on the ribbing I have my white color at the bottom so now i'm going to change to black i want my ribbing to be in black so for this row we are also going to make decreases so that it is fitting around the wrist so you are going to make a double crochet in that very first stitch uh, go into the next stitch and make a double crochet and in the third stitch third and fourth stitch we are going to make a decrease okay so go in come out of the fourth stitch and make a double crochet okay so go into the next and make a double crochet uh, second double crochet and then make a decrease then go ahead and continue with that pattern is two double crochets then a decrease two double crochets and then a decrease and i'll meet you once you are at the end of this row So I've come to the end of that row and I will close this off with a slip stitch. So for row two, we are going to chain three and we'll be working with front post and back post. So in that very first stitch, go under that double crochet, then make a double crochet to make a front post. Then for the back post, go over it from the back like that and make a double crochet then next is a go under it and make a front post next is go over it like that and make a back post under it to make a front post then from the back go over it to make a back post so you are going to continue doing this pattern and i'll meet you once you are at the end okay so i'm the end of the row and this will be a front post as my last stitch so close this off with a slip stitch then chain three
and where there is a front post go ahead and do a front post so where there's a back post do a back post so this is a front post next is a back post so i'll go from the back so make a front post and then next will be a back post so you are going to do that okay do that and i'll meet you once you are done with enough rows mine i did a total number of five rows for my wrist so yeah i'll meet you once you are done with your rows So I did five rows and this is how it looks like. Yeah. So you are now going to clean this up, uh, cut all the threads. So in your ends, cut them off and uh, I'll see once you're done. All right, so we are done cleaning this up and we are now going to do the edging at the bottom and at the top, okay? So we attach your yarn. I'm going to be using color black for this. Insert your hook, reattach your yarn. This is along the bottom, so chain one. And in that first row, I'm going to insert a single crochet. And at the top of the row, right here, I will insert a single crochet. So we're going to work single crochets along. So it's in the middle of that row and at the top of the row. So in the middle of that double crochet and then at the top of the double crochet. In the middle and at the top of that row. So you are going to do that single crochets. It's two single crochets in every row all across the bottom. You'll still do the same for the top. Top part just to give it some, you know, I will see you once you're done. All right, guys, so this is it. We are done with the edging. This is how our sweater looks like. I hope you love it. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, share to your WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, subscribe. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.